Okay, so this is a knot that I prefer to use for 12 buys and 8 buys tying them down because it's an adjustable slip knot, but it's very hard to convince uh, a lot of guys to try new things. Um, essentially what you're doing is you're making a knot that when the coils are aligned, um, it will allow it to slip when you want it to, or you can also um, have it so that it won't slip when you don't want it to. Um, it's one that was introduced to me a long time ago. It's, it's a little bit like a circus knot. You'll see it sometimes, actually, more often on the uh, movie sets, it'll be at the catering tent. And I've never understood why grips don't use this more because it's a very effective and adjustable knot for when you're working in situations where you have to readjust as uh, things change, you know. And it will hold a 12 by just fine in the wind. Uh, I've put it to the test many times. So essentially you can see that was two loops to the inside of your main loop and then one loop to the outside and then tied through. So now you can slip this as you can see here. I'm going to pull it, you know, when the, when the coils are separated uh, it'll allow it to hold tight and then when you compress those coils back in that'll allow you to slip the knot through, um, as I'm showing you here. It's a little bit like a hangman's noose in a way. It's that kind of idea. Uh, and that would be more in the family of the Prussics. So, just a thought, uh, you know, I don't know if you can convince other people to try this too, but it's a very good uh, knot to do if you're tying down to stakes or buildings or whatever, and you want to be able to adjust your 12 by. So hope you found this informative. Uh, please contact us at infinitygrips at gmail.com and subscribe to this channel. There's more to come.